All right, my old Acer AL2223W monitor stopped working. And I've pulled out the uh, power board. And this is the this is the data board. And it looks looks nice, really really well done. Acer makes good stuff. It's been my experience in the past. But the uh, symptom was that the monitor would turn on for two seconds, show my desktop, and then um, go black. Now we notice right here that we've got some dark spots here next to the flyback. Probably should replace that cap. These are T-A-I-C-O-N caps. I've never heard of them before. T-A-I-C-O-N. Uh, it's not bulging, but I bet this guy's gotten hot. I bet it's dry as a bone. Probably need to replace him. These other caps look okay. This whole area kind of looks a little bit darker than the rest of it. Overall, the board looks pretty nice. Laid out okay. A little separation on the fly back there. That's a 25 volt cap. I'll probably try to find a 50 volt cap for that. Now these caps are not bulging. Ah, looky there. Those two caps got big bulges on them. Uh, get my other eyeballs. See what this is. It all seems to flow towards that connector right there. But I'll definitely have to replace those pots. And since this whole area is kind of dark, I'll replace, I mean, those caps. Um, I'll, have to I'll go ahead and replace these caps and that cap. And if I can find a big, big goomer like that, I'll replace him as well. So I guess, I guess I have a, a little bit of work cut out for me. Desoldering these caps. Taking them off. I'll get my soldering iron heated up. And I'll video this. Removing the caps. Uh, but So, yeah, I'm going to turn my soldering iron on. And I'll be back. Video start. And I found that if I put this on there, See, those two guys right there got the bulges. Okay, I'm going to heat up my soldering iron. I'll give you a little closer view of the brown spot over by the flyback and the capacitor and those are the two capacitors that are bulging this big guy is not bulging 
wouldn't hurt to replace all of them just just in case so let me find that out and get my capacitors and we'll see if we can just repair it Okay, I've got all my uh, capacitors in and installed them. And tried it out on the monitor and it did the same thing. So after searching online, I found one article where it talked about the transformer and I found the part number searched on that and in fact found several articles on this transformer and how to test it uh, it seems that, that the uh, resistance of the primary is like two ohms or something like that and the secondary is a thousand ohms and, a, and this is a dual transformer so there's actually two two transformers because the uh, the lights the backlighting is separated into two parts top and bottom so I checked it and one of the uh, secondaries was open. So I ordered the uh, ordered it off of Amazon. It was only like four bucks for the transformer. Haven't received it yet, but as you can see, I've got all my capacitors replaced. So I'm waiting for my transformer and we'll do a part two of this video so that we can finish it up and test it on the monitor. One of the parts that I will show is my ancient high-powered monitor 
I mean uh, camera. It's a CCD camera. Now this is my ancient <coughs> Kohu camera. Uh, sitting, it's on my tripod. And as you can see it has a hell of a lens on it. I can zoom in very close with it. But unfortunately it's in grayscale. And it, this is a CCD camera. And uh, it's, it's very old. It's, it's 25 years old at least. But it works quite well. And I will show some video from that in part two of this video showing uh, my solder joints and looking at looking up close at the boards to have a look at them more of a sort of a review but as you can see that's a massive lens and I can zoom down very to a very very tiny uh, focus point on it it also has a focusing feature it has a zoom and a focusing feature and the uh, quality is pretty good so I will uh, I'll try to show some of that I have to convert it if I can't convert it then you won't see any but uh, that's that's my high powered camera I actually have three of these they're different models but uh, the the Kohu is is uh, the one that the big lens is on this time, so that's that's the one I'm using. Okay, so uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was to try to give you a close up. I found that if I use the uh, higher magnification on this glass, I can get a real good close-up of this board if I hold this camera just right and as you can see it's kind of brown and you know in retrospect it's brown on one side of that transformer it tells you that one side was getting hot and the other side wasn't so Since the transformer is dead, that explains that. And replaced all of my all of my uh, capacitors. And so, just a nice close-up of the board. All right, we'll see you in part two. Keep doing everyday things, and thanks so much for watching.